The plan for this mega mosque project was initiated in 2017 before the last general election. It's reportedly one of the largest enterprises of its kind in the world. The majority of the mosque in Bangladesh are privately owned with limited government oversight. But some analysts say the real aim of the billion dollar mosque project could be political. Absolutely, there is a strategy for reform. Mosques were previously used for various extremist teaching as well as for radicalization and a plan to make Islam controversial. I am confident such a plan will be foiled through proper teaching in these mosques. The newly constructed mosque would be open to women, unlike most of the country's other 300,000 mosques, and many will have libraries and education and cultural centers. One of the special features of this new mosque are their separate floors dedicated for women, which you don't typically see in other mosques. They can pray in Sabbath or any other time. There are plenty of mosques in our area, but there are no facilities for women to pray. We are very grateful for this facility, and there will be 560 such new mosques soon. We as women thank the Prime Minister for this initiative. Ali Riaz, an expert on political Islam, says the government is now creating separate religion-based parallel social institutions across the country. These mosques will offer a new interpretation of Islam, which government wants to do it, what they are describing as the moderate one. Uh, and then this mosque will also create a new authority of Islam, because currently the, what we have in Bangladesh are the Safazat Islam, the Jamaat Islami, and the Madrasas. Now they are going to create a new strand of institution. And the final point is that these institutions will create a social institution. There has been a rise in extremism in Bangladesh in recent years. At least 50 people, including atheist bloggers, religious minorities, gay activists, and foreigners have been killed. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina at a ceremony to mark the new mosque project urged Islamic scholars, teachers and guardians to keep young people away from the path of militancy. Those who are saying that these mosques will be used as a political tool, I want to assure them and everyone else that in reality we don't have such directive and that there is no political activities will be initiated here. Since 2013, Sheikh Hasina's government has cracked down on religious parties. She has made secularism part of Bangladesh's constitution. Political analysts think the new mosque program is the latest move by the government to cartel the influence of what it considers to be extremist political organizations in the mainly Muslim-majority country. Tanvir Chaudhry, Al Jazeera, Sabar, Bangladesh.